The Quantax WDS is an integral part of the Quantax family of devices for SEM-based microanalysis. The x, the x -Sense spectrometer um, as the main component is a so-called parallel beam spectrometer with a grazing incidence optic here on the tip, which can be also uh, retracted. The Quantax WDS is fully integrated in our software package S32. So everything is within one software, EDS, WDS, and all the other devices. This slide here shows the setup and working principle of the XSAN spectrometer. The parallel beam optic is positioned pretty close to pretty close to the sample and thus captures and thus it, uh, captures a large effective solid angle. So um, we've seen the optic, uh, which is a very important part, and this uh, parallel beam spectrometer is close to the sample, so we capture X-rays with a high effective solid angle. The resulting uh, X-ray uh, uh, or X-ray beam is uh, parallel, and this parallel beam hits one of the flat crystals here, where Bragg diffraction occurs. Here are up to six uh, crystals on the turret. Only photons of a certain energy fulfilling the Bragg conditions are reflected towards the proportional counter, which is used for X-ray detection. According to the Bragg equation, the energy, or the wavelength lambda, of these photons is a function of the adjustable Bragg angle theta, which is the incidence angle of the beam relative to the, the crystal surface. Theta is given here. This is the incidence angle between the crystal and the X-ray beam. And the second parameter is the lattice constant D of the analyzing crystal. Basically, this setup describes an X-ray monochromator, which is very narrow band and hence capable of delivering high spectral resolution. So we've, we are filtering out all the X-rays. We get only one monochromatic X-ray, but intensified due to constructive interference. As WDS and EDS actually measure the same physical property, it is important at this point to realize that there are some main differences between the two techniques. These are, first, a substantially higher spectral resolution of WDS compared with EDS. Typical values are in the 3 to 15 electron volts range. So that means 10 to 20 times better than EDS. Second, enhanced peak to background ratios, which translates into um, lower limits of detection, up to about 100 ppm. And third, this is a spectral, uh, this is a special property of the parallel beam spectrometer with the grazing incidence optic, outstanding light element sensitivity. With these properties, a WDS can be an ideal complement to an EDS system in demanding applications where EDS peak overlaps are an issue, when trace element or light element detection capabilities play an important role, or for low KV applications if high spatial resolutions are desired. Semiconductors are such demanding applications where the Quantax WDS can be of great help. 